Hey you guys, it's Nathan back with another video. Today sharing with you the best free photo editing software for PC and Mac in 2020. And the way I found this software was I looked at three categories that I felt were most important to help you get the best out of your photo editing experience. Number one, I wanted a software that would encourage you to keep your photos organized. I struggled over the years throwing all my photos up to the cloud and then trying to pull back just the ones I want to edit and then having these folders and just oh, saving to my desktop and like all this stuff that doesn't really work that well and is not best practices. So I wanted to find a photo editing software that would help you to edit those photos but also to keep them organized. Number two, I wanted to find a software that would equip you to edit and manipulate photos. So not just changing like a couple colors or putting a filter on it, but also helping you to remove elements from the photo, taking out objects, being able to cut things out of the photo, to put something in the background, to layer text, to do different things that would help you to do more creative projects and help you to manipulate those photos so you can have more control. So when you take a photo, you're not just taking a photo and saying, oh great, there you go. It's saying, I can edit that, remove some elements. I could use that for a PowerPoint or I could use that for a YouTube video or that's a great stock photo right there or something I'm gonna put on my Etsy store or I'm going to use to promote a business or something like that. I wanted you to have a software that would be very feature rich without having to go out and spend the big bucks like for Photoshop or for other subscription based or these one time photo editing softwares of over a hundred dollars. Many of them that won't continuously get updates where in this software it's been updated even as early as three weeks ago and continues to get updates with new features and new uh, ways to use this software. Number three, it also, I wanted it to have support for raw photos and then also for transparent photos. That would help you to do different layers and helps you to be able to put your photos on a website or something but still allow for some transparent elements to help kind of add a little extra creative flair. Editing raw photos is just allowing you to use some of the pro features in your camera to help you get a better photo in the end result. So with all those things in mind, I found the best photo editing software that I could find for free is Photoscape X. And the reason why I chose Photoscape X is because of those three reasons, but because they executed them in some great ways. I'm going to show you what are some of those ways right now. Number one, to help you organize your photos, it allows you to add different folders as favorite folders so you can have wedding photos, you can have different photos with like senior pictures or baby photos or family photos. You're able to rate your photos from a one to five rating. So you're able to go and give them three stars or five stars and you're able to keep them organized that way because all these different uh, flags or rating systems you use helps the photos to be searchable and when you make those different edits, it stays with that photo as metadata. So when you go to another software down the road like Photoshop, you're able to keep those different ratings and you don't end up losing the work that you already kind of learned in your time of using Photoscape X. Next, it equips you to edit and manipulate photos. The way that it does that is it uses some quick tools like magic color, which is just an auto adjust color. There's a quick menu, which helps you do just some quick, very uh, precise edits. If you know, oh, I just want to bump the contrast. Oh, I just want to lower the saturation, something like that. It also allows you to just put some filters on. So you're able to make it look a certain cinematic way or to have a certain kind of old time effect on it if you're into that. But then there's some more powerful tools, which are helpful to help you uh, think of more creative projects down the road. Things like spot healing, where you're able to remove certain parts of the image or certain objects or certain blemishes that you don't want to have in the end result photo. It also allows you to do things like light flare or color tuning, where you're able to continue to make it uh, just more creative and also just make it look more cinematic. So whether you're doing a YouTube thumbnail, a banner for your page, you're making a website and you're wanting to have some creative colored content in there. 
you're able to do a lot of different things with some of the brushes or some of the different uh, effects, like the blur effects and things. And it also has a tool that I absolutely love, which is the adjust color brush. We are able to use certain effects just in certain localized parts of the photo so you can manually go and blur a background. You can manually lighten up the face um, and make those facial tones maybe lighter or darker or taking away certain shadows or the harshness of certain things. You're able to do all of that in Photoscape X and it works great. Number three is you're able to use some of the pro features like so, uh, support for raw and then also uh, for transparent images helping you to do those cool effects like putting text in the background um, and having it actually not go over like the main subject of your photo. It's a great kind of a pro like pro looking effect you're able to add in that isn't just a push button get it. It takes a little bit of time with cutting out some different things with some layers but all those things are achievable and with raw support you're able to get the most out of your camera by using some of those different features that many people just throw away because their software that they're using doesn't support it. Nonetheless, all these different tips, all these different uh, tricks that I'm telling you about, these different tools, I'm gonna be making tutorial videos to help you use Photoscape X to the best of your ability. And tell me in the comments below, how are you using photos in 2020? Whether that's for YouTube, whether that's for just social media, for marketing, for your website. But let me know, and also, what are some of the different things you're trying to do with your photos to make them look better, to add text or add different elements to them? But nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to share more with you guys. And for so many other videos that are out there where it's just like a top 10 list, or they just are looking at different uh, products, definitely look for people who actually show their face, who actually can say, here are all my photos throughout the years. And I would love for you guys to check out my website, NathanCollins.com. It's still up and going. You can definitely check out my social media accounts on uh, Twitter or Instagram. And also see some of the other videos that I've made before helping you find value in different products for photo, video, and also for audio editing. All of which are things that I'm passionate about and I can't wait to share more with you. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and check out Photoscape X, the best free photo editing software for PC and Mac in 2020.